Hi everyone, welcome to the Jamestown Distributors Workshop. Today, TG is going to replace the water pump on a 2005 Yamaha 25 horsepower four stroke outboard motor. As a general rule of thumb, this service should be performed every other year. Before you get started, take a look at this video. First, disconnect the shift linkage by backing off the bottom lock nut a quarter of a turn. Then unscrew the upper hex collar nut until it is free from the shift rod. If the shift linkage is difficult to access, you can put the motor in reverse to expose it. Next, unscrew the four lower unit bolts, leaving one bolt partially screwed in until the remaining three are removed. This will prevent the lower unit from possibly falling to the floor upon removal of the last bolt. Now remove the old water pump housing bolts. Inspect the old pump housing and impeller for damage and excessive wear. Remove the pump base plate. Inspect the drive shaft and remove any nicks or burrs with emery or fine sandpaper. Install the new cup into the new water pump housing, making sure it's fully seated with the holes aligned. Apply a thin coat of 2,4-C grease to the cup and then install the new O-ring. Install the new pump base plate. Put a small amount of grease in the keyway and install the key. Apply a thin layer of grease to the drive shaft and slide the impeller down the shaft and over the key. Now install the new pump housing. If your motor has a right hand rotation, spin the drive shaft clockwise while pushing the pump housing down to the base plate. Grease the threads of the housing bolts and install. Grease the splines of the drive shaft using caution not to get grease on the top flat portion of the shaft. Install the water tube guide. Grease the threads of the four lower unit bolts. Make sure the lower unit is still in reverse and reinstall. Pay attention to the alignment of the drive shaft, water tube, and shift rod. While holding the lower unit in place, reinstall the shift linkage. Screw the hex collar down to the bottom nut and tighten the lock nut a quarter of a turn or until snug. Reinstall the four lower unit bolts and put the engine in neutral. Now run the motor outside. Check the flow of the telltale and check forward, neutral, and reverse. Before you replace the water pump on your engine, Make sure you know the exact year, make, and model engine you have, as this procedure may vary slightly depending on your boat's engine. After you replace the water pump, it is also good practice to replace the lower unit oil and grease the prop shaft as well. Remember, you can find everything you've seen in this video on our website at jamestownistributors.com.